What's up boys, that's one DK back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how I clean my bike and how to do a proper like chain cleaning and all that stuff, how to properly clean the 2023 S1000 or really any bike in general. As you can kind of see, it's getting pretty dirty. I've been waiting for this day so I can show you guys. So without further ado, I'm gonna put this outside and let's get into it. Well, since we are gonna be cleaning the chain first, I put it up on a stand. I don't wanna put it on cause it's kind of a slant right there. So in the garage will work fine. Uh, we're gonna be cleaning the chain first because it gets really, really dirty. As you can see, mine is very dirty and I'm gonna show you guys how to make it look brand new and everything around it look brand new. All right guys, these are some pretty simple, simple stuff I got. Chain cleaner, chain lube, a brush that you can all find on Amazon. I use the brand Muck Off. It smells really, really good. I'm not kidding, it smells amazing. I have a little hose here to rinse it off and I have some shop towels to like take off all the lube. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is grab your chain cleaner. Like I said, I use Muck Off and they come with a little nozzle so you can spray it exactly where you want it. I'm gonna try not to show my face here. And you just be generous with it. I use a lot of it. This is like my third bottle already in two years or something like that. Or a year, I should say. I kind of like to get the bottom as well. So let me do that. Now, as you can see, this is why I tend to do it first. Dripping a bunch of dirty stuff. Look at all that old oil or grease. I should say that is pretty disgusting Wow, I didn't think it was that bad but That's why we're cleaning it right now. You're done with the spraying part pretty easy now you grab Your chain brush and you just go at it. I like to go at it from right here at first Let me get in there Just like that and then you spin your bike Let the brushes do the work. Don't put a lot of pressure on it. It doesn't really matter if you do, but I do not like to. All right, now I get the back of it. I kind of just go up and down in little segments. Now, as you can see, all of it is agitated. It's looking good. Look at my hand, full of stuff. Now you grab your shop towels and then I grab right here. And you just let it go through. It's gonna get dirty quick. It's gonna get very dirty very quick. So I'll switch sides. Put pressure on the top, the bottom, and on the side. As you can see, I'm probably not doing the best on this side, but switch sides on your paper towel, otherwise you're just rubbing it right back on. All right, that looks better already. As you guys can see, it's looking pretty nice, looking pretty nice. And now you just grab your hose, I like to make sure it's on like cone or whatever, like shower. All right guys, the before and after is amazing. This looks beautiful. I'm gonna be showing you guys a little trick how to get all these little marks off of everything and down here and stuff like that. I'm all out of shop towels, so do not hate me. I got some brake cleaner and I got a rag. Brake cleaner is amazing. Only put it on certain things. Try not to get it on the chain because of the O-rings. This shit is awesome. I use it every everywhere, basically to really clean anything. Uh, you can use WD-40 as well. I heard that works pretty good. Just comes right off. And it smells good too. I know we're gonna be cleaning the bike, but it's nice to get all the hard 
hard spots right away. All right, guys. So now since your chain's clean, you are good to go to put it outside and get ready for an actual wash. Do not lube it yet. Do not lube it yet. I will show you how to do that after the fact. All right, guys, and now to clean your motorcycle, you're gonna need a hose. I use a pressure washer, you do not have to. All you need is two buckets, some soap in one and some clean water in the other, and an assortment of microfiber towels. And that's about it. That's all you really need, and some soap, obviously. I personally use the Chemical Guys soap. It works very, very, very well. And then I use it in a foam cannon like this, connected to my pressure washer. A little bit empty, but she'll do for today. Yeah, guys, the first thing you want to do is just simply wet her down. And get her all wet everywhere. Do not be scared of it. You're not going to ruin anything. Promise. A lot of people say, oh, you can't get your motorcycles wet. That is such a lie. Do not listen to them. Just get it all over the place. All over the place. And I'm just using the hose for this. I am not using the pressure washer. I'm just getting her soaked. Get her soaked, Brads, get her soaked. And I'll let her sit for a couple minutes and I'm gonna hook up my pressure washer when it's sitting. All right, and now since it's been sitting for a couple of minutes, I got my pressure washer hooked up and then I'm going to spray the living shit out of it. So get it all over. And if you have just regular soap and a rag and a bucket, it'll work. But I got this off of Facebook Marketplace for like, I think $40 or something like that. It's cheap, works good, works exactly for what I need it. Spray it all over, get it everywhere in the tire and the rims. On the screen, get it everywhere. That looks about good. And now all you wanna do is grab a rag it's a fresh rag, make sure it's clean. I make sure it's new every time. I don't trust wash, washed rags. And you simply just wipe it down. You rinse it, try not to go in swirls. I don't care what anybody says. You go straight with the paint. And you just simply get everywhere. You get everywhere. Try to switch out your rag a good amount when it's dirty or just put it on the different side. Be very careful over stickers. I have this sticker right here. Be very careful around it. Just kind of lightly go over it and the bugs should come off. If they don't, apply a little bit more pressure, but you do not want those stickers to start peeling because that's just bad news. I'm grabbing another rag because that one got really wet, which is fine, but I'm just kind of overkill. All right, honestly looks pretty good. Didn't need much, just need a little bit. I just hate having a dirty bike, so I try to keep up on it as much as I can so I don't spend three hours cleaning it one day. But now all you have to do is just simply rinse it off. I'm gonna power wash it off so I don't have to disconnect the hose and stuff. Actually, I'm not gonna use a power washer. I'm just gonna use this. This will rinse it off. All right guys, I know there's two ways to drive the motorcycle. You can either ride it 
<laughs> or you can dry it off by hand or you can even use a leaf blower if you want but I tried that, it doesn't work that good, so I'm just going to do it by hand with a nice, fresh, clean microfiber towel. As you can see, it's looking clean. If you want to get under this, you have to take out all the windscreen bolts. I only have three, because when I ceramic coated this bike, the person took it out and didn't put it back in, and now they owe me a new bolt. It's been like two months, but whatever. Uh, make sure to clean all the water spots if you like find one now, before it's too late. Uh, Otherwise you can use some quick detailer spray, but as you can see, it's looking really nice. It's looking really good. Looks brand new, looks clean. Oh, see, another drip right there. Get that while you can. It's all good. Now I'm gonna put it back into inside of the garage and we're gonna lube the chain. All right guys, and now for the final touch, I'm going to be cleaning the wheel very quickly, the back wheel. It's very easy if you have a center sand or a stand, my bad, a back sand, a rear sand, whatever you want to call it. Get yourself some brake cleaner. Literally OP. I use it all the time. The rear wheel gets so stuck with grime and dust and you name it. All right guys, and now since that's all clean, you're gonna wanna Dry off your chain once more. So just use a rag, dry it off once more just to make sure that there's no water in there. So you have a good, so you can apply your chain lube nicely. All right, looking good. And then you grab your chain lube. Mine's almost empty. I muck off, like I said before. And you lightly, you don't need a lot. You just need some, put it on the outside. Try to have an even coat all the way around. And then I like to do just a little bit on the inside as well. And there you have it boys. So that is how you clean, clean your bike, clean your chain, lube your chain, all of the above. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed the little tips and tricks I had in this video. You're going to get dirty. Uh, I love all of you guys. Thank you guys so much for 1,600 subscribers. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Uh, use my code on Brentoon or BT Moto S one K D K all caps no spaces for five percent off. It helps me out a lot. Helps you guys out too. Save you saves you guys some money. And peace.